In the city that never sleeps, hustle culture is everywhere. On every corner, in every park, in every crevice, there is someone trying to make their dreams and hustles come true. In this series, we'll meet all different types of people who have the hustler spirit and are taking matters into their own hands to get some extra bread. In this economy, even I'm trying to stack up more. So I'll explore different jobs and hustles around the country to see if I can add hustler to my resume. This is Overtime Hustle with Speedy Mormon. Being flexible in New York is a requirement. At any given moment, your route to your destination may change. Your friend who told you was on their way will cancel on you in a moment's notice. Being flexible is important. It requires strength, a sense of mental durability and resilience. That's why more people than ever have taken up Pilates as a way to strengthen their ability to adapt to any situation this city throws at them. Pilates is another one of those workouts that has blossomed in the age of social media. Not to be confused with yoga or stretching, Pilates activates all the muscles in your body while you tether yourself up to planks that resemble a BDSM dungeon more than a granola mom's wet dream. Now me, I'm trying to make my wallet even more flexible so I can fit more bread in it. So join me as I take on Pilates to see if I can be the next big fitness influencer or coach. Welcome to Power Pilates. Good morning, happy to be here. I'm looking for Raven. Raven, she's finishing a class right now, um, but you can just take a seat over here and she'll be with you. Okay, great, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bend your knees as much as you need to. That one hamstring should feel really nice. And slowly, let's start to roll up through our spines. Here we go, really slow. Stand up with your best posture that you've ever had. Your head is the last thing to arrive. You should feel really, really tall. Take a big inhale. And exhale, you guys are finished. Great work today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. What's up? Hi. Speedy. Raven. Raven, so good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I've been on this journey looking at overtime hustles, trying to make some money on the side. And I cannot open Instagram these days without seeing Pilates. <laughs> How popular is Pilates right now? Pilates is huge right now. There's studios everywhere. People are doing it online. It's it's the it girl workout. I see that. Have you seen like a growth more recently or was it further back? Like when did this start popping yeah. off really? I think Pilates really started popping off like 2021. Okay. Um, when social media really started taking off with the TikToks, with yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there a lot of money to be made in Pilates, you think? Yeah, I think there really is. Uh, now is the time, but you got to work hard. I'm not a, much of a work hard type of guy. You know, I like to coast a little bit. Is there a way to do it in a way that's easier than working hard? No, we're not here to make it easy. Pilates is hard. And how does it work? Is it like membership based? Do people pay per class? What is the... I think it depends. Here you can take classes, semi-privates. You can even take complete private classes or work out virtually, which is mostly what I do. Got it. So you're teaching online? Yes. Okay. Seems lucrative, kind <laughs> of. Um, would you mind showing me a little thing or two to see if it's something I'd be interested in pursuing? Yeah, I can show you. I have a little bit of time before my next class, so I will grab your Pilates socks. You're gonna put these on. Thank you very much. Let's do it. Have you used a tower before? Not even one time. Okay. But well, it looks familiar to me, so. Hey, yeah. It I'll looks a little can, scary. I can so. probably figure it out <laughs> once, okay. with your assistance, I think. This is your breathing bar. In Pilates, we do a lot of breathing, and that's definitely something I want you to think about. Okay. So we're going to start with an exercise we call chest expansion. So start facing your tower for me and bring your feet into a little V. There we go. Good. Now take your hands a little wider than shoulders and stand up really, really tall. This is an exercise for posture. Give me straight arms. Push the bar in and lift your chest and pull your abs in. Nice. And Ooh, then out. Where do you feel it? Everywhere. Okay, good. Two more. No, it's more like in my back, I think. <laughs> exactly, because it's a posture exercise. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Yes, look at that. One more time. Okay. <laughs> Don't you already feel taller? Yeah, I'm Hold like 6'3 now. And then float it out. Very nice. How are you feeling right. so far? Great workout. Thanks for coming. <laughs> how, many, how many exercises do you do per class? 
Oh, per class, it really depends on how much we're flowing. So in an advanced class, our transitions are like microscopic. So mm -hmm. we can do maybe even a hundred exercises. A hundred of that? Yeah, not of that, of oh, everything. I'm about to say that. But we do a lot of these. What, what's the next <laughs> exercise? Okay, so the next exercise, we're coming to seated facing your tower. This is called roll down. You're gonna flex your feet oh, up shit. again. Ooh, Sorry. I heard that. Yeah, I don't have, <laughs> my body's not the best. I gotta be honest. Okay, so flex your feet up against the poles for me and now reach for your bar again. All righty, <laughs> separate the arms and lift up really tall. This is a posture exercise. See, I got too. bad posture though. Yeah, I see that. We're, you're gonna need that to be a Pilates teacher. <laughs> now take your thumbs underneath the bar. That's it. Now push the bar down a little bit. Now with a round spine, slowly start to lay down, but keep your bar down. I love to lay down. Push your bar down more and use your, keep pushing your bar down as you go down all the way on your back. All right, and now let's reverse. Push the bar down a lot. Doesn't this feel like what we just did? Yes. Lift your chin to your chest even more. Use your abs, slowly roll up, push your bar down. Push your bar down. Yes, push your bar down. Keep pushing it. I'm yeah, shaking. I see that. No. <laughs> no that's crazy. My shit was twitching. That's, that has to be like back and core. Right? That's yeah. honestly uh, what we work most in Pilates. Back, back and core. core? Yeah. I have a bad back. My that core. might not work for Pilates yeah. teacher. We're, we're going to see. We're going to see. Don't count me <laughs> out. Don't discriminate, yeah. though. Don't we count don't. me out. Okay, what is the name of that exercise? That was our roll down. Roll down. Okay, mm -hmm. boom. I like the roll up, though. That okay. was a little easier. Are you ready for your last exercise? Let's do it, one more. Okay, so we're gonna spin around, face the other way. You'll notice these wooden handles. These are your arm springs. We're gonna be using those. Yes, so lay down on your back with your head towards your tower. Your feet will go towards the center of the room. Oh my God, there's so many people. No, hi y'all, they're waiting for you. Hey Maybe everybody, how y'all doing? <laughs> okay, lay on down and bring your legs together for me. Now grab your wooden handles and your arms will go up to the ceiling. And I want you to have your best posture. Yes, perfect. Okay, draw those legs together. I need some inner thighs. Now push your arms straight down to the mat. Push my like. Yep. Okay, is this your yeah. best posture? Can you push your shoulders back? Yes, that's it. Good, now squeeze your legs together. Can you float your legs up into my hand while keeping your arms down? Yes, that's really, oh, touch my hand. Perfect. Now keep your arms there, keep your legs there. Lift your chin to your chest. Curl up. Can you curl up even more like you're going, that's it. This is our Pilates 100. Now start pumping your arms up and down just a few inches. Okay, you're making it look easy. How do you feel? This is easier than the last one. This is easier that than the last one? That last one was hard as I think you should curl up even more. That's it. Now squeeze your legs together. Start pumping your arms again. Even quicker arms. Even quicker. Good. Now can your legs go down just an inch or two? Yes. Now curl your upper body up an inch or two. Give me bigger arms. Three, two, hold your arms down and slowly lay all the way down, head and heels and relax your arms. That one was not hard to do. That one wasn't hard nah. to you? That's my least favorite. I was good at that one. That last one though, <laughs> I don't think I could do those. But I would love to learn some more. All right, well, here's your chance because we are gonna start class. Okay, let's do it, I'm ready. All right, everyone. So you should see your blue magic circle really close by. I want you to grab that and we're gonna lie down on our backs. Your head is gonna be towards the tower and your feet are gonna be towards me. Beautiful, look at her perfect roll down. Okay, bring your knees into your chest. You're gonna place the magic circle in between your ankles with those little pads. Yeah, follow along if you need to. Remember, ankles, beautiful. All right, arms down by your sides. Oof. Lift your chin to your chest. Look at your belly button like you're about to do a crunch. Yes, she's got it. Now from your stomach, squeeze your circle and extend your legs out to the center of the room, nice and straight. Hold it, yes, point through these toes. Use your stomach now. We're doing the 100, start pumping your arms here. Up and down, just a few inches. We start to breathe, exhale. Last one, hold it. Squeeze your circle really tight from your stomach and lay all the way down. Nice, that was your 100. Now grab your circle, it's gonna be between your knees. <laughs> grab your wooden bar that's back behind you. It's about at eyesight. Remember, our arms stay straight, arms go up to the ceiling here. Give your circle a big squeeze, that's it. Yep, gotta remember that one. Now lift your hips up to the ceiling. You're in a bridge, booty goes up. 
Arms stay straight, push your arms down. Hold it, head stays down, booty goes up. Oh my God. Hold, yeah, where are we feeling it? What happened to my circle? Squeeze it really tight. And now lower your hips and lift your arms up to the ceiling. Bridging. Okay, let's try it again. Squeeze your circle. Damn, lift your butt, push your arms to your thighs, hold it. Hips up, arms down, this is looking so good. Yes, ma'am. Squeeze your circle tighter. Pull your belly button down more. Lift your booty up higher. Now keep your arms there, y'all. Squeeze your circle in and out. Here we go, squeeze your circle with your inner thighs. That's it, but don't move your bar. Keep this bar still, keep this bar still. You are squeezing your circle this from your inner crazy, thighs. This is crazy, bro. Eight, seven, six, God. everything fire. Don't move your bar. Five, four, three, two. Lower your hips, lift your arms up to the ceiling. Slowly let go of your bar. How are we feeling, y'all? This is good crazy. Today? It's crazy? Who said good? <laughs> nah, that was nuts. Your bro, arms? I thought people just come in. Okay. Yeah. Love it. You be seeing this on Instagram? Yeah. All the time. I thought they just come for the picture. I... Are we ready for our last exercise? This one's yes. gonna feel good. Yes. I've oh been my... ready for the Ooh. last one. Are you, you're the one who's trying to learn it. I just need to learn. <laughs> I ain't need to do it. Okay. Grab your magic circle and sit up for me, y'all. You're gonna flip around and you'll see that black strap. You're gonna put your feet underneath the strap flexing your toes and you'll scoot back so your legs are straight. We've been talking about straight arms, straight legs. You gotta flex your feet so your strap is always tight. Now you grab your magic circle, you sit up really tall and you extend your magic circle in front of your body and you give it a nice juicy squeeze. That should activate your arms and your stomach. It's almost like the bar we've been using. Flex these feet for me. Now, can you lay halfway down, y'all? Your lower back should almost, just halfway, hold it. Can you squeeze your circle? Tight, hold it. Don't lay down yet. Now, can you lift your arms up to the ceiling? Oh, doesn't that change things? Hold. Are oh, you pushing nah, your legs son, down into the mat? Nuts. Slowly lay down on your back in three, two, your head goes down on one. Woo! That's our roll down, you guys. Now we gotta reverse it. So lift your chin to your chest. Look at your belly button, hold. See how your circle is straight up to the ceiling. Can you roll up just another inch or two with no momentum? Just another inch, squeeze your butt, that's the trick. Push your legs down, can you roll up halfway? Woo, hold it when you get there. Really round and scoop round, that's it. Squeeze my circle, keep scooping. Sit up all the way tall. Lift, I feel the room's getting a little hot. <laughs> nah, that was crazy. Come to standing, facing the center of the room. You'll bring your legs together in a comfy position. With your best posture, let's reach your arms up to the ceiling, take a big inhale. And now stay really tall, lower your arms all the way down and you guys are finished. Good job. Nice job, ladies. All right, see y'all later. All right, everybody, welcome to the class. Today we're gonna be doing a little bit of Pilates. We grab the breathing bar and do like so. All right, now you're gonna wanna lift this leg down, uh, up a little bit. Perfect, right there is good. Hold it, perfect, then I'll play. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Good. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? My name is Speedy. I'm gonna be your instructor today. You know what I'm saying? I run a tight ship, so make sure you guys are on it, paying attention. Do we have any first timers in the building? One, two, two people for the first time. Okay, that makes three of us, because it's also my first time. Um, but I'm gonna act like it's not. You though, didn't you come here already today? Two days, baby. You know oh, you're here doubling down. Yeah. Okay, bet. All right, twice in one day. Okay, bet. Um, listen, I know Pilates can be very expensive. I want to make sure you guys get your money's worth. So we're going to have a good class today. Does everybody feel stretched out and warm, ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Okay, bet. Does anybody know what the blue thing is called? No. Somebody got to know what it's called. A ring? A ring? No, almost a ring. Do you know what it's called? I thought it was a ring. I mean, it, it is a ring. It's called the ring. And then this bar here, the brown bar, everybody knows what that's called, right? Bar. Bar. 
But it's, you know, there's an... There's a name for it. Breathing bar? No? No? All right. Well, we can call it a bar then. All right. Um, and then this is called a... Perfect. Look at that. All right. So you guys ready to get the class going? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, let's go. All right, we're going to put um, your head towards the wall and put your feet towards the end of the map. Perfect. Everybody's looking great so far. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is... Actually, we're all going to stand up because you have to grab your blue uh, ring. I forgot to mention that. So everybody grab your blue ring. Just have it on deck. We're going to actually need it for the first exercise. <laughs> OK, and we're going to put our heads towards the wall. We are going to put our ring between our ankles. OK, get that core activated. And then we're going to extend our legs. And then you're going to put your, yeah, that's perfect. Put them up high, guys. Put them up high. Then you take both arms, put them out, and we're going to start pumping. Pump, 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 pump. Pump. Perfect. Perfect. Get your legs up a little higher. There you go. Perfect. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Now, no, don't put them left. Just lower your legs about 6 inches and look at your belly button. Act like you're looking at your belly button. And we're pumping now. Small pumps. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Legs down. How are we feeling? Good? Everybody looks so good and happy and healthy. Anybody here know what a bridge is? Yes. We got one part, two, three people, four, five, six. All right, y'all could have just said, yeah, everybody individually. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to put our knees up, but our feet still flat on the floor. And then we're going to put our feet in the shape of the letter V, like this, like a slice of pizza, yes? Boom, perfect. Then we're going to take that blue ring, we're going to put it between our thighs, right on the inside right above the knee, and we're gonna squeeze. It's, it's really a circle, but we want it to look like a zero, okay? That's how we know we're working out that, that, that grind, that core. Yeah. Okay, boom. Now, what we're gonna do is, in that same position, we're going to, once we pick our butt off the floor, we're gonna reach back. You see the brown bar that's right above? Yes, that's called the bar. We're going to pull it down towards the knee. Perfect, not yet though, just, yeah, there it is. Now these are on the spring, so that's all resistance and we're gonna get strong, okay? All right, ankles together, please. Like a letter V, like this, like turn your toes the other, no, 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 like this, like put your, your heels together. There you go, perfect. Heels together, everybody, toes pointing out. Heels together, toes, heels together, toes. Okay, perfect, all right, now butts up in the air. And then I want you to take that um, rod, and then, I mean the bar, and bring it towards your knees. We do 10 of those. 10, nine, hold on, slow, eight, yes, seven, perfect, get the butts up. Six, five, four, hold on, we gotta stop, y'all, because we ran for you. It's all good, it's all good. Two more, everybody, two, huh? One. Oh, you did your 10. That's fine. Listen, this is, it's a marathon, not a sprint. As long as you get your 10 in, we good. All right, everybody got their 10 in? Yeah. Perfect. All right. How y'all feeling? Everybody feeling good? Good. good. Y'all want to just stop there or y'all want to keep going? Keep going. You sure? Because we could just call it. Like, that was... We call it. We call it. You ready to just quit? No. Y'all paid for we this. We paid for this. Yeah, y'all want to say y'all want to keep going? Keep going. Yeah. Okay, bet. All right, boom. Now, is this is one of my favorites. Um, okay, so now we're going to take the ring, put the ring to the side. And then we're all going to um, stand up. And then now, because you know one thing about Pilates breathing really is very important. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that, right? So now what we're going to do is I want you all to stand. I want you to t put them uh, feet shoulder width apart. And then I want you to t take your um, hands and reach up. And then take a nice big breath in. It's your best posture ever. And then I want you to bring that and hands down to your chest like you're praying. Perfect. And say namaste. Namaste. Perfect. Then you're going to put it back up like that. <laughs> Just the reverse. So then you're going to like bring them down. There you go. That's really going to activate the um, shoulder. Kind of, yeah. But it's really, that's, I like to focus on the stabilizer muscles. That's really for the blades. So 
So engaged. Exactly. What was that? Be Perfect. Exactly. Now that's what I, he's on it. Now I want you to reach down and grab that bar, that, that bar, right? Square to your stand. And I want you to, this is called the celebration. We're bringing it up. Yeah. As if we just won. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just won. Yeah. Or, but we have to do it all together. Wait, wait, but we have to do it together. Wait, 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 we didn't start yet. We didn't start yet. So we're acting like we just won a game. Some of us had a tough week at work, but guess what? We made that sale. You know what I'm saying? Some people, you know what I'm saying? If it was a tough gig, you did well on it. You know what I'm saying? So it's called the celebration. Remember to squat a little bit, bend those knees, all right? And then on my count, when I hit three, we're gonna go to our first, yeah. Remember, get that arm up and extend it, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Yeah! yeah. Perfect, put it down. One, two, three. Yeah! All right, um, how are we feeling? You know, I like to make it interactive. Do you guys prefer to be standing or laying down? What's like? Working out. Well, obviously working out, but you could work out laying down or standing up. What? Sweating. Sweating? Well, well the, 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 you, you got to talk to the, the AC. It's great AC in here. I want to feel the burn, you know? Feel the burn. Feel the burn. All right, so boom. No, we can do that. All right, boom. So everybody go down. Let's get into plank position. Let's get into plank. Yeah, that's You want to sweat, right? No, wait, high plank or low We'll go with medium. What? If we start low, then we go high. Now, you want to sweat, right? Okay, boom. So everybody get into... um on your forearms, okay? And then we're gonna rotate um, from here. We're gonna go up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Look at that, yeah. This one is called up, up, down, down. What? No, that's, what? That's what it's called. Yeah. Or UUDD. No, no, they call it UUDD. Wait, 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 wait. We're doing 15 of those. 15 UUDDs. Are we no, well, we didn't start yet, guys. I was just showing y'all the demonstration, for real. We didn't, you didn't, of course, boom, I bet. We start, we start here, it's up, up, down, down, up, up. Yeah, we didn't start yet, though. All right, ready? Everybody feel ready yet? No, no, we getting ready to get going. Okay. All right, does everybody feel ready? Yeah. Okay, all right, let's all get in position. And on my cue, in three, two, one, go. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Perfect. Up, up, down. Engage that core. Up, up, down. Flex those hip muscles. Up, up, down. Are we, are we alternating arms? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Up, up, down, down. Get those triceps going. Down and breathe. Remember to breathe. Up, up. Yeah. Oh, y'all feeling that burn now. Yeah. We feeling that burn. All right, let's clap it up one time. We feeling good. We feeling good. Hey. How was it, y'all? Great course today. Yeah. Good. Look amazing. at him sweating. Look at that forehead. Now he's sweating. Look at that forehead. He's, he's sweating. She said amazing. You said interesting. Yeah. Interesting. How do you feel? Great. Listen, it's important. One thing one of my favorite like practices in Pilates is really getting after it. It's like a mental challenge as much as it is physical. So you really just want to make sure you're giving it your all. And I will say all eight of these members of the class, they really gave it their all. And I'm really proud of them. It was okay. To say the least, I think he's learning. We're all learning. And uh, I have another course next week, perhaps? Absolutely not. You wouldn't come back for another course? You mean you're not refunding me? Be honest though, yeah, I didn't really like my class. Um, it reminded me of, you know, middle school when we were like, hoi you know? First three was killers. And then the, you know, the up, up, down. The up, up, down, down. I like that up, up, down, down thing he had going on. ¿Qué era eso? Dime. En la verdad, yo no entendía nada. Él me decía que respirara. Yo respiré. Que no respirara, no estaba respirando. Yo no entiendo. Estaba temblando, estaba sudando. Esta clase de hoy. Uh-uh. Dr. Barney, get that burn. It had me sweating a little bit, but that's the only thing that had me sweating. I didn't break a sweat at all, so. There is a jar by the door and the tips. Just add a little bit more Pilates. I think he needs to learn more from Raven. Thank you guys for being here today. 
Um, and uh, hope to see you guys in the next class. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming, y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you get a chance to catch any of my class? Yes. What'd you think? I killed it, didn't I? Especially that last exercise. Yes. It kind of came out of nowhere. Was that some improv? It gives that, well, it gives that but it wasn't. You know, you really got to celebrate life. Mm. Celebrate the fact we just made it through a good workout. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just really yeah. metaphoric almost. You, yeah, you put a lot of... Uh, thematic elements of into course. your class. You're yeah. breathing, mm -hmm. you put some yoga, you talked about life. Of course. Um, you talked about nutrition, it's, you were really... Yeah, it, you, I like to take a multi-pronged approach to working yeah. out. It's not just one, you need them all. So do you feel like you're a pro now, now that you've taught your first class? I mean, yeah, I mean, there's always room for improvement. I could have had it clicking on all cylinders a little more, but um, for the first one, I feel very confident in that. And um, I, I feel like they enjoyed the class, so. Okay, great. I think you were very confident. I think the only thing that would make your class a little better is if you had a little bit more Pilates inside of your body. I think practice, What do you mean by that? I think for you practicing a little bit more Pilates yourself would, <laughs> would come across Debatable. great in Well, your think class. about this. You know, some of the best basketball coaches ever don't play, you know what I'm saying? Really? They never have. But they, they just, did. Not all. You know, some of them just know the game, like uh. me. I really know Pilates because I've done it. So I don't know that I have to do it more. Do you feel as if I have what it takes to do this for real, for real? Honestly, you did much better than I thought you would have. I was blown away, um, especially by your creativity. So I'd say, yeah, there's Pilates is really for everyone. So you could have a lane. I could have a lane and then some. A lane. <laughs> Just, we all have a lane. Just one lane. Don't overdo right. it, but right, I bet. think there one. might be one for you. Okay, bet. Thank you. Yeah, I think the, the hotties will really appreciate a class from you. I, I know they will. Okay. I'm gonna tell you like this so nicely. I think I love your attitude and you're such a humble dude, but this is not for you. <laughs> Whether you're aiming to hit a certain number of steps a day or putting in hours at the gym, fitness in any form is important. Now, Pilates might be the new workout trend all over social media, but it's not to be taken lightly. I quickly learned today that I'm more of a talker than a doer. So as lucrative as this hustle can be, it isn't for me. Feel the burn? Nah, I literally can't feel anything after that. Look, over the last few weeks, I've explored so many different overtime hustles to make some extra bread. From bartending to Pilates to even grooming dogs. Honestly, I'm still trying to get the fur off my clothes. But you know what? I've learned a lot, not just about the jobs, but also about the amazing people behind these companies. No egos, just straight hustle. So whether you're looking to pick up a side gig or just curious about the hustle, remember, there's always a new adventure waiting out there. Until next time, this was Overtime Hustle. I'm Speedy Mormon, and remember, protect your pockets. Now, in addition to just teaching classes, which is like a new passion of mine, you also own a business though. Like this is like a real thing for you. How are you like managing stress while also building a business and the financial aspect of it? Yeah, I love to stay organized and on top of things. So I keep things in spreadsheets and I just really like to keep myself together. But when I'm super stressed out about it, I always ask for help. I really love to delegate tasks just to make sure things get done. I'm Erica Hughes, Senior Director of Multicultural Marketing at Ally. Boost your financial confidence by dedicating as little as 10 minutes a day to learning about personal finance. Simplify your finances by automating savings and bill payments. Set it and forget it. Share financial concerns with trusted friends or family to ease anxiety. These practices will help you build a solid foundation for financial well-being and peace of mind. Down low, one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. Hold the last year. Wait, one, two, three. Yeah. Hold it up, hold it up. Arms extended, arms okay. extended. Five, four, three, oh. two, one. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up.
A Thanks, speedy right. round of applause. Thank you, that thank you so much. Great instructor. Thank you guys. Listen, remember, Pilates, yoga, it's all of the, no, wow. breath. It's all of the breath. So remember, <laughs> we gotta keep breathing. Yes, it was wrong. Remember, all of the breath. So we're breathing in. No, 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 hold it, we gotta hold it. No, breathing in. Hold. Ah, wow. There we go. Good work. Right, good work, everybody. We're clapping it up for yourself. Everybody's so lovely. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's so lovely. Good work, everybody. Listen, thank you guys for coming to Pilates 101. Uh, it does get more advanced as the class progresses, so next week will be two on one if anybody's interested. But thank you guys so much for coming there.